Hey, welcome to Freight Broker TV. This is a FBTV video. Today we're going to be talking about, well, continuing in our series, on our series, how to become a successful freight broker. This video, part seven. We continue in our series on how to become a successful freight broker. This is part seven. Today we're going to be talking about adding agents or even even adding sub agents if you're a freight broker agent maybe you want to add sub agents to your agency we're going to be talking about that today before we get into that got to show you hey we got the mugs in just like we've been showing you in the uh, pictures on our website these mugs are available you can pick them up at our website freightbrokertv.com uh, you'll find the link just follow the link and you will have your mug within days, weeks. <laughs> My advice, at least for this time, and it could have been just a glitch, you know how shipping is. Uh, you may, I think there's an option where you can pay $5 more to get it ex expedited, you know, to you. I, I would hold off on that because it seems like uh, the expedited, well, we did uh, order just to test it. And the expedited, we paid the extra five, and it took a week longer than they said it would, so I don't know. But the mugs are available. Standard shipping, you'll get it, and uh, you'll be happy with it. Drink your favorite beverage. Mine, obviously, coffee. I don't know, you may be a tea sort of person. Hot chocolate, whatever, whatever it may be. Hey, remember on Saturday mornings, every Saturday morning, night, well, most Saturday mornings, I should say. Saturday mornings, 9 a.m., FBTV video podcast live streamed on YouTube. It's Q&A day. If you have any questions, that's when we'll answer them. How do you get your questions to us? You can email us at FBTV at FreightBrokerTV.com. Go to our website, FreightBrokerTV.com. We have forms there, contact forms you can uh, uh, fill out, send to us. Also, you can Skype us, FBTV, on your, uh, do a search on your Skype app for FBTV and you'll find us. All right, let's get into this a little bit, how to become a successful freight broker, adding agents to your brokerage or even sub-agents if you are a freight broker agent already under contract to an existing brokerage. Now, as a broker, a lot of brokers don't take advantage of the agency system. The agency system is where you are contracting an individual as a freight broker agent to work under your license as an independent contractor. In other words, you give them a 1099 at the end of the year. If they don't make any money, well, or if they don't move any loads, they don't make any money. If they don't make any money, no 1099, right? But what it is, is giving the opportunity to an individual to work for your company as a freight broker agent on a commission basis. Now, how are these agents paid? You pay them via commission. Commission on the load net or the profit of the load. So what is that? You may ask if it's, uh, if you got a, uh, the agent had a customer and the customer agreed to pay $2,000 to move load from point A to point B and they found a truck to move the load for $1,500, the profit on that load, well, it would be $500. Okay, that would be the net. An agent commission will be paid out of that net. Standard, 60%. 60% of net goes to the agent. The broker will retain 40%. That 40% is going to allow you to be profitable. I've had clients in the past that thought that 60% was just way too much money. Just crazy money. Why would I want to pay somebody 60%? Well, simply because the agent is the one beating the bushes, finding the customer, building the relationship with the customer, working the load, finding the truck to move the load, and following up. They're doing all the work. You're just handling the paperwork and the finances. Absolutely, you are taking responsibility for that. Now, something about uh, agents... And if you already have an agency system in place with your brokerage, you want to check that contract. I'm a, uh, the lead consultant for Tatoa. As you probably already know, Tatoa, we are a training and consulting firm. We uh, specialize uh, in working with 
freight broker, uh, freight brokers, freight broker agents, trucking companies and such. We have training and consulting packages available, consulting only packages, self-study. You can check that out on our website at taltoa.com. But I've had clients, well, well, part of our service is consulting, especially when it comes to an agent. If they're moving on to a brokerage and they want us to look over the contract, now we're not attorneys or anything, but we've seen thousands of these contracts and we're happy to look them over for our clients. And occasionally we will come across a contract that has a no-compete clause in it. It will state that the agent is not allowed to take their customers with them should they ever leave that brokerage. And commissions that are pretty low ball, if you want to get right down to it. And then we've seen contracts that are just really ridiculous where should the customer, the shipper, not pay to move that load from point A to point B, the broker is responsible for the whole amount. And that's just ridiculous. The broker or the agent should be uh, should not be responsible for the whole amount. The agent should only be responsible on a no pay for the amount of money that they earn on the commission. So if they made two hundred dollars on the load, that would be their responsibility. You, as the broker, you approved that customer. You approved the credit. Otherwise, you could just be sitting there approving everybody and not taking any, holding any financial responsibility to it. A broker agent working with a brokerage, that should be a partnership. You're sharing in the responsibility uh, with that agent or agent with the broker for that load. But you should retain, uh, you, you should be the one responsible for the uh, ultimate decision about approving that customer and their credit. Now, if you are thinking about becoming a broker agent, and, and this goes back to what I was saying a moment ago, I've had clients saying, ah, that's way too much. Well, let's say an average agent is doing $2,000 a week in net. Okay, keep up with me here on the math. It's pretty simple. An average agent is doing $2,000 a week in net. You're paying them 60% of net. That means that broker agent is earning, you're paying them $1,200 a week, or $1,200 uh, on average, $1,200 a week, on a $2,000 net. That means that agent made you, your brokerage company, $800. That's $3,200 a month. That's over $36,000 a year. Now let's think about that. You start doing the math, multiply it by five, by 10. See what I mean? You know, if you got 10 agents doing $2,000 a week in net, that's $8,000 a week you have coming from your agents. Okay, keep that in mind. Now, let's move on to sub-agents. What is a sub-agent? Well, first of all, a freight broker agent is one contracted directly to the freight brokerage. A sub-agent is one contracted to a broker agent that is contracted to the freight brokerage. So, the broker, broker agent, sub-agent. Now, generally, generally is, is what I see is sub-agents are generally getting 40% of commission. Now, the broker agent could be getting 60%, maybe 70 who knows. But what's happening is the, the business is being submitted to the brokerage as, uh, well, from the broker agent. The broker is paying the broker agent that full commission, 60 70%, whatever it might be for the net. That broker is paying th their agent, their sub-agent, out of that money. So let's see if I can keep up with this in my head. Let's say you had a load and what well, we'll use a hundred dollar net, make it easy. Okay. hundred dollar net, uh, broker agent on a contract with a brokerage at 60%. That means that broker would pay that broker agent $60. Now, maybe the agent that moved the load, they were on a 40% contract. So that broker agent would be responsible for paying that broker agent 40% of the net, so that'd be $40, okay? That means the broker agent made $20 on that load. I hope that makes sense. It's an opportunity for a broker agent to start developing a system for 
their future agency, uh, if they're thinking about becoming a freight broker down the road and they want to have an agency system, this is a great way to start learning how to work with that system. Now, if you're a broker agent, you're thinking, hey, man, that, that sounds great. You know, I can hire people to work for me, you know, contract them. Yeah, you're going to have to do a contract just like you would, uh, just like you did rather with the uh, broker you contracted to as a broker agent. Now, the thing is, sub agents tend to jump ship pretty quick because they're going to get out there and they're going to figure out, hey, look, I could be making this much money or this much money someplace else and they're they're going to be out the door so you got to be prepared for that the main thing you got to you can't look at having sub agents as a source of revenue i mean if it happens it happens you're going to have some people that are going to stay they're going to be loyal others that they're going to get in there gaining just enough experience so they can move on and be a freight broker agent direct with freight brokerage and they're going to make more money so you got to think about that now if you are one that is planning to start your own brokerage actually uh, get your own broker authority, become your own brokerage operation, that can build loyalty. You know, you can let them know, hey, as soon as we, soon as we get our own authority, we build our business up enough, build this agency up enough, we're going to get our own authority and move on. That could maybe help them stick around a little bit. All right, very good. Okay, I hope that helped you out a little bit, talking about add, uh, adding agents to your brokerage. It can be profitable, and even sub-agents, if you are an agency. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, uh, send me an email fbtv at freightbrokertv.com don't forget saturdays saturday mornings 9 a.m that is when we do the fbtv live or the video podcast live streamed on youtube i'll get it here in a minute all right go have a great day unless of course you've made other plans we'll see you later